The level of insecurity has reignited the call for state police, even as 16 governors have supported the call for its creation. In this report, correspondent John Felix speaks with stakeholders who express his fear that governors may abuse the opportunity that comes with state police. The primary responsibility of government is the protection of lives and property. However, successive governments in Nigeria have failed in this regard as killings and kidnappings by terrorists have become the order of the day in some parts of the country. Crime has become more sophisticated with kidnapping for ransom, killings, courtism, drug abuse, human trafficking and other vices becoming dominant in the country. From southwest to northwest and other regions, at least a week, organized crime such as kidnapping is not recorded. To stem the tide, one of the steps suggested is the creation of state police. But then, is Nigeria ripe enough for state police? You know, Nigerians, heading and abetting criminal element in Nigeria, it's very obvious that we are not ripe for state police. Because what is the argument? When there is information, and you have security agents even leaking out the information to the bandits, even like the one that happened to the 16 gallant officers of the Nigerian army, this information actually was leaked, you know, by a citizen to the bandit. So when you now even use the police, where you have indigents as the police, at the end of the day, due to the economic situation, and then, which is most critical, you will see a lot of Nigerians colluding, aiding and abetting, you know, criminal uh, elements. As far as we are concerned, how many state governments are even paying the minimum wage? And you are now saying you want to ask the police, who, where and where are you going to raise this money? Are you now going to tell the federal government to raise your inflow or you want to generate it? If you want to generate it, all of them should give the government a template. Maybe for the next three years, let us see if you are going to have a state police. Government should give them a guideline. I mean, something like a threshold. At least in a state, you should be able to generate maybe 40 or 15 billion monthly, then they will know you have the capacity. But for people to just be making all that one state police, at the end of the day, the body will not be trying to the federal government. It's unacceptable. The fear is how Nigerian politicians will not use the local police of a state police to start to harass the opposition. Because we can even see that there are still some state commissioners of police that are still even like housing with some other politicians to harass opposition parties. And as a matter of fact, we know that it may spare do more than what we are expecting. But if you look at the way the insecurity is being drained, that uh, we are even having the abduction of uh, the kingship and hobbership in even Yoruba land, you can see that it's ripe enough that we have local people that we police and then know the terrain of the situation. Why we are calling for local uh, the, 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 the state police that the localities of this crime that are being perpetrated will be tracked by local police. But having said that, we must also look at the other side of it, where politicians will be using uh, state police to harass the opposition. Will the creation of state police effectively and efficiently address the security challenges in the country? What steps should government take in the immediate? The, the present police should be more funded. They should take them on police, then they should give them their, they should increase their welfare. Because this is the reason why you see somebody will say, oh, uh, boy, come now. If we cannot, we are going to give you two million. If you cannot, but there should be at least a very good threshold for Nigerian police. They should be, you know, uh, their remuneration should be fine. The remuneration should be fine. The military remuneration should be fine. And most importantly, when people die in active service, there should be enough for their families. So that a soldier, I mean, a military personnel, whether you have force, navy, or police, or even the, I mean, the, the, Nigerian, uh, the Nigerian police are, are going out, they won't entertain any fear. The best way is that all of us, we must learn that security is everybody's business. And then we must have a police that is responsible enough that are not fraternizing with criminals. In most states, there are a lot of police, even some commissioners that are fraternizing with, with, with criminals. And we must look at it. That anybody that is not living above the board as a culprit must be dealt with. Deliberation on state police has been on the front burner for several years, but the failure to attain an amendment to the constitution has made it impossible to legalize. With the current constitutional review, Will this attempt scale through?
only time will tell. From Abel Kota, the state capital, John Felix reporting for Galaxy Television News.